Okay, today I'm going to show the process for how I would make a barbecue grill grate. I've had several people ask how to do that, so I'm going to give an example here of how I would do it. I'm going to use it uh, for a good opportunity to discuss the Align and Distribute menu and the different functions there because I'll rely heavily on the Align and Distribute menu to lay out the grill pattern for the barbecue grate. Okay, so starting out, I'm going to draw a square here. And before I, I lay out the actual grill, I'm going to go ahead and discuss these align and distribute functions that I'm going to use first. So I'm going to draw another square here. I'll change the color, make it red. So you can see what's going on here. Um, okay, so now this small object, I'm going to say is this is going to be my object. It's the first item I've selected. Here in your align and distribute menu you have last selected, first selected, biggest object, smallest object, page, drawing, selection area. I always use last selected. You could use first selected. Um, you could use biggest and smallest object if you wanted or one of these other options. I prefer last selected. That's what I've always used. So that's what I'm going to do here for the purpose of this discussion. So I have mine set on last selected. So that means when I select an item or multiple items, the last item I select becomes the anchor point for the align and distribute function. So I've selected this red square. If I select hold shift and select the blue square, the blue square now becomes the anchor. So the first one here is align right edges of the object to the left edge of the anchor. So if I click that, it does exactly what it says. It aligned the right, ed right edge of my object to the left edge of the anchor. The next item is align left edges. It aligned the left edges. Then you can align it vertically. Then you can align the right edges. Then you can align the left edge of the object to the right edge of the anchor. Then you come down here to this row. I don't use these here. These are for font. Come down here to this row. Align the bottom edges of the object to the top edge of the anchor. Here you align the top edges. Here you align it horizontally, here you align the bottom edges, and here you align the top edge of the object to the bottom edge of the anchor. So those are all pretty self-explanatory. They do exactly what they say, but play around with them, get comfortable with them. The next two that I use on a lot of designs are this even horizontal gaps and even vertical gaps, but those are for when you have three objects or more. To even the gaps between them and you'll see that when I actually lay out the grill pattern. So I just wanted to discuss that so I don't get sidetracked later on the align and distribute different functions here. The main things I'm going to use to lay out this grill pattern are going to be the rectangle tool, the node tool, of course the selection tool, the align and distribute menu, and my snapping tool I'll have turned on. When you come over here and click on this arrow, this will open up and show you your options in the snapping tool. The main thing I'm relying on here is aligning to the corners of objects and snapping to paths. But you can turn those off and on and play with them. They'll give you different results. You'll find some of them useful, some of them annoying, but they all have their purpose. So I'm going to lay out the grill grate. The person I talked to wanted a 22 and 3 quarter. So I've just drawn a generic rectangle here my ratio is unlocked I'll come here to the width set that to 22 and 3 quarters and then the height they wanted 14 inches so I'll set that to 14 inches and that will be the body of our grill grate so I'm gonna change that to black then I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna draw another square this I'll change the color to red so we can see what's going on here. Um, now they're going to want, or I'm going to lay out four rows across and 22 rows down. So I'm going to leave a, a half inch border all the way around and quarter inch gaps between the slots. Figuring that up, that'll give me five and a quarter wide slots. So five, two, five and the height on them will be 302 thousandths that should 
give us 22 slots high with 21 spaces between them. Okay, so this will be the size of the slots we're going to cut out in this grill grate. And we're going to leave a half inch border all the way around it. Quarter inch gaps between here and 302 thousandths gaps between the slots. As well as the slots are 302 thousandths high. So, then I'm going to get my square tool again. I'm going to hold control this time. Click and drag across, across here to the right. That's going to give me a symmetrical square. Now I'm going to lock my ratio and I'm going to set that square at a half inch because that's the border I want all the way around it. Now I'm going to click on this square, bring it down here and let it snap to the corner of this square. That's where the snapping tool comes in handy. So that's snapped to the corner. Then I'm going to grab my first slot here and snap it to the bottom corner of this. That gives me a half inch this way and a half inch this way. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this square by hitting Control D or you could go edit duplicate and I'll come over here and snap it to this corner now I will duplicate this by hitting Control D or like I say edit duplicate and I'll drag one over here just let it snap wherever I'm gonna hit Control D drag one over here hit control D drag one over here and that gives me my four slots across oh wait a minute actually I'm gonna go back I want to round the ends of these slots I don't want these squared off slots I think it'll look better with rounded ends so while this is still an object I have not converted this to a path if I click on this with my node tool it'll give me this little node here in the top right corner if I click on that and drag it all the way down as far as it'll go that will perfectly round the ends of these slots so I forgot to do that but I've gone back now we're rounding the end of the slots now I will control D duplicate these and bring them over and I'll go four of these there's three control D and four so now I've made four of those. Now this one here, I can bring it over and snap to the corner of that. Even though I've rounded the ends of these slots, as you can see when I click on it, it still will snap to the, the corner that should be there before I convert it to a path. After you convert it to a path, it won't. But these are not converted to a path yet. These are still rectangle objects. So this one snapped to that corner and this one snapped to that corner. Now if I select all four of them, I can use this, even horizontal gaps, and that will space them all perfectly even all the way across. Now I will select them all, or I'll select the first three, sorry, and then I will hold shift and select this one just in case I got those out of line vertically. I will select this and that will make sure they're centered horizontally and I sele selected the one on the left last because I know that one is snapped to the corner of that square so there's my first row I'm gonna select all of these I'm gonna go object group because I don't want to have to do this four times now I'm gonna start repeating these down to make our rows vertically so I'm gonna go control D Pull it down, control D, pull it down, control D, pull it down, control D, pull it down. That gave me five of them. Now I'm going to select all of those, control D, and I'll pull those down. That gives me ten. Now I can go again, control D. That should give me twenty. And don't like I say, don't worry about the spacing at this point. It's more about just getting the amount we want. And that should give me two. I'm going to hit Control D. So there I should have 22. Yep, 22 objects of type group. Now I'm going to grab this square, hit Control D. I will duplicate and pull it down and snap it to this bottom corner. Now I can grab this one and pull it down and snap it to the corner of that square I just put there 
that's maintaining my half inch border all the way around now I can basically get rid of these squares so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just select them and delete now I can drag a box around all these excluding the outside outline and if I come here even vertical gaps click that once as you can see that laid out my barbecue slot arrangement right there perfectly those are all evenly spaced um, if you were unsure about the alignment vertically maybe you got one out you can hold shift unclick the top one then click it again that now makes that the last one selected and then you could hit your vertical alignment one more time just to be sure nothing got moved off to the side once you're sure everything's aligned we have to ungroup these before we can make them a path so we'll go object ungroup now you have 88 rectangles here there's no groups now you can go path union now I have my barbecue grate pattern so now I will drag a box around the entire thing I'll make sure once again it's aligned vertically and horizontally and then one last thing before I make this one path if I'm making this for myself I want these corners rounded off so they're not sharp corners so I'll come back once again to my node tool click on this there's that little node on the top right I pull that down and with this one you can go pretty drastic but I will just pull it down a little to give it a nice little rounded edge there now the final thing to do here would be grab the selection tool select both items by dragging a box around them I'll come here path difference and there's my barbecue grate so that's how I would go about laying out a barbecue grill grate pattern like this um, it would be similar if you were laying out a circular one but I'll cover that in a different video because you know once you got your pattern laid out then you have to make your round border and it'd be a little different I'll discuss it in another video anyway I hope that helps some people out hopefully I gave a good explanation of the align and distribute menu and how that can be utilized these are all very useful tools when you want something perfectly laid out in a pattern I uh, hope that helps some people out. Thank you for watching.